In this video, let's look at how you can make an ebook cover for free. And it's pretty fast and easy. And right now, I'm at the site pixabay.com and I'm looking for an ebook cover for a Buddha book on, on Buddha quotes. And I've done a search for Buddha and let me scroll down. This is actually the hardest part of, this, uh, of the process. And what we need is we need a good image for the cover, but we also need to have an image that allows us space to uh, add our titles. And I've chosen this one here. As you can see at the top here, we can put the title of our book in text right up here. So I click on it and I download it. And I've already done this, so let me skip on over. And I'm going to use Paint because it's free and it's on everybody's computer that has Windows. If you have a Mac, you have your own graphics, free graphics program already installed. And I'm going to open the image and it's right here and what we have is a big image and we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is go to view zoom out and now come back to the home and I wanna crop it and you don't have to be very precise here just estimate and that looks pretty good and let's crop it and that gives us a general shape for our ebook cover now we wanna add some text and I'll do that here and for my text I want it to be white so make sure color one is white. Click the font button and I want the title to be impact. Impact is a really good font for large text for titles. And let me align this. And Microsoft's paint is really primitive with text. You'll just if this is all you have, uh, that's what you have to work with. Let me make it a little bigger. And we'll try to align this here. We have best Buddha quotes, and what I want to do is now, let me see, I'm going to make this black, come up to here, and I'll put and I don't want to use the exact same font or font size and I'm going to make this Times New Roman which will contrast well with impact and unless you have really good design skills, keep it really simple and I'm looking for Times New Roman here and I'll change the size and I'll reposition that here and now we have the title and buy and I did this really quick you can align it better and now and I'm gonna save this as a ping and let's call it Buddha now I'm gonna go back over to the browser and I'm at a site called 3d pack.com and it creates 3d images from a, a, a typical two-dimensional image and you have options here CD box 3d box CD box, DVD box. I want to make sure I have book selected. And I'm going to choose the cover image I just made and Buddha for the cover. I don't need a back side. We don't need that so just skip it and choose file for the side and just use the same image. Now you're going to scroll down a bit. Excuse me. You're going to create the 3D box and what's happening if you notice down here we're uploading the pictures and I'm going to let this run in real time and it'll take a, a few seconds for the images to upload. And we're almost done. And then it just takes a couple seconds to uh, for the program to add our images. And what we have now is a 3D image of the Buddha picture we created uh, in Paint. Now click and drag and this is 3D and select the perspective you want and just to be quick I'll put it about like that now click the button I recommend ping and this will take another few seconds and I'll let it run now you notice the buttons went away that means it's ready to download so just right click save image as and I'm gonna call it Buddha cover now let's switch back to paint and I'm gonna open that image and it's our Buddha cover here and what we can see here is they've added a logo their logo and also I don't like the reflection being this big so I'm gonna crop those out now about their logo I've been over their site and I can't find anything that says you cannot remove their logo that is part of their terms of service but it's up to you to double check that but let's go back and I'm gonna select hit the select rectangle click and drag to where I want it and that's close enough and crop it now just do a save and that's it. That's how easy it is to create a professional, good looking ebook cover. Now, just one real quick technique. Let me show you this here. Let's say you have a picture like this. Let me go up to view, zoom out. Now, there's not a lot of room for text here, but it's pretty easy. Just you can do this in a couple of ways, but click this rectangle box, select solid color, 
and this would be for the outline so click black or any choose a color black white works best now same thing here this is color two let's make this black and just basically what you're going to do is just create a, a rectangle now you can just come up and I suggest unless again unless you're a really good designer keep it simple use black and white or white and black and since we have a black background I'm going to choose white text and you just type your title here and then you repeat the process that's it and see you in the next video bye